Welcome. Over the next few minutes, we'll walk you through how to calibrate the Guardsman backpack for use with Duet or Aqua Duet Adulticide. Let's begin. First, make sure you have everything you'll need to calibrate and then be ready to mix and spray. Diluent, such as Envirotech or BVA-13 oil if you're using a non-water-based adulticide. A timer, two catch containers, a graduated cylinder to accurately measure volume collected in one minute, and the adulticide. Now, make sure the gray color-coded metering tip is screwed into the ULV nozzle housing, and that the blue inline tip filter is in place. Next, make sure the shutoff valve at the joystick is open to the max flow line. This is critical. If it is tightened all the way, it will completely shut off the flow of product from the tank to the sprayer nozzle. Before filling, check to see that the drain cap on the bottom of the formulation tank is on and securely tightened. We recommend calibrating first with a gallon of straight diluent, such as BVA-13 oil, if you'll be using Duet. If using Aqua Duet, calibrate with water. After filling the tank with the correct calibration liquid, be sure to properly close the lid to prevent accidental leaking. Also, make sure the agitation lever on the lid is placed at the proper setting, zero for no agitation. In order to maintain the same conditions that would occur during an application, an extra nozzle or facsimile should be placed on the application tube when performing the calibration. Loosen the O-ring clamp and remove the ULV nozzle from the application tube so it's no longer in the airstream. Place the dummy ULV nozzle on the application tube in order to maintain same engine RPM on the tachometer. Since there's a constriction at the end of the ULV nozzle, when it's removed, the engine RPM drops. Add one gallon of diluent into the sprayer. Start the backpack and put the throttle in the full position, all the way down. Place the tip of the ULV nozzle into catch container one. Pull the spray lever all the way up and lock it in the spray position allowing lines to fill and liquid to run freely into one of your empty catch containers. Once maximum flow has been reached, have your timer ready to start. Then, move the tip of the spray nozzle into the second empty catch container and time for one minute, quickly switching the spray nozzle back to catch container one at the end of one minute. Repeat this process at least two to five times if you want to calculate an average ensuring a consistent flow is being achieved. <music>